Hey lovelies, today's video is about Pure Talk production business plan in Nigeria and at the end of this video we are going to learn how to start a Pure Water company in Nigeria. If this makes sense to you, please hit the subscribe button right now to get a chance for a weekly shout out and for YouTube to notify you the moment we post videos like this in episodes. Hit the like button, we'll go right into it. The factory is what we're first going to consider. I mean, the sites that you want for producing your pure water, the place you want to situate your company. You can rent this space. If you have the money, you can buy it. It can be as small as one flat building. It can be as big as four flats building or a warehouse. Just make sure it has a compound. And also make sure it's a place that is free from refuse dump, that's free from cement, free from fuel depot, pit latrines, you know, things that can contaminate water. Things that will make the water not pure like we expect it to be. Before you pay for any place or any site, make sure you do your research about things around that area and how government thinks of that area before you go and deposit your money and you might not be able to get it out. The next is your business registration. It means you need a name. Employ the service of a lawyer, they would register for you through CAC and then you will have the name that is only for you linked to your company, that is for your business registration. The next is source of power, especially if you are in Nigeria, I mean electricity must be running. You cannot open a factory without a source of electricity. So if you are in other African countries, your lights may be better, but here hmm, we really solely depend on other sources of power. That is why you cannot start factory business with small money in Nigeria. I mean, sometimes it has, can be as much as 10 million or 20 million naira, depending on the standard you want to have. So the least you can have is the 25 kVA generator to start with. That is if you're thinking small, but if you're thinking average, you would need a whole bigger generator for that. Next, we'll be talking about the borehole because you can't use the well system for it. So you need a borehole. And there's something I must say. You need to get someone that knows how to do a proper company that knows how to do the right kind of borehole because I've seen a borehole that actually brings in dirty water. I mean, it draws in sand. So your borehole is not supposed to be that way. You need a pro proper company or someone that actually knows what he's doing to install your borehole for you. This point is very important. Your distillation system. You know, that is what makes it the so-called pure water. You need a distillation system like the one you can see on the screen right now for starting a pure water company. It will be the one to take your water to boiling point, filter it for us to be able to drink. So distillation system is quite important. Try to get an original one because it is a bit expensive and if it breaks down, you wouldn't like it. Spend on quality and not quantity. Our shout out this week goes to Belo Kudus Olariogi. Thank you so much for joining our family. We are happy to have you as part of our community. I mean, it means a lot to us. Please continue to grow in better heights. Next, we need reservoirs to supply water to the distillation system we just spoke about. These reservoirs are in forms of tanks in order to supply water to that distillation system. The next is branding of nylon materials. We already registered our name, so we have the name. We give it to someone that will design the logo. So we have a label for the company and we have the company address, okay? All this will be put into printing on the nylon material and there you have it. Next, you get an automatic sealing machine. The one that can seal as much as 40 pieces of pure water per minute. Some can seal even more than that, but at least if you get that one, you can be able to finish up your work on time and be able to prepare for getting more money. If you're feeling me and I'm making sense to you, kindly click that subscribe button and like this video. It will do a lot to help my algorithm. Next is NAFDAQ requirements. We know what to do. You visit NAFDAQ office for the requirements that is expected of you to register your company, okay? If you're not in Nigeria, probably you are outside this country, please visit any regulatory body in your country because I'm sure there must be a regulatory body for this. But I'm a Nigerian based YouTuber, that is why I am talking about NAFDAQ. The next is vehicles for delivery. You need a truck to deliver this water, okay? And this truck do doesn't have to be brand new. I've never even seen a brand new truck supplying pure water hardly. Get second hand truck those trucks that are already used in the western world and imported down to the country then the next is staff you need a supervisor you need an operator you need packing boys boys that will package 
the pure water into the nylon and you need driver and motor boy the motor boy will assist the driver you would notice that when they come to supply you pure water in your home they are always in twos or threes one driver one motor boy or one driver two motor boys so you need those boys to assist the driver the driver will do the driving if you're gaining value from this video please check the description below for links to all playlists business ideas tutorials and side hustles most importantly you need to research study plan and strategize before going into any business so in case you see any video or someone tells you about a business you must do your own research you must do your own strategizing every situation is not the same whatever happens in one state may be different from another state and even if you're in the same state you're not in the same environment even if you're in the same environment you don't have the same situation your own situation is peculiar to you so you must strategize in order to face your own market